33,481 undergraduate students are present. Offers over 4,000 courses, not classes, but courses each semester. 144 countries are represented by international students. Rated number nine in the country for gay-friendly university. Rated sixth best college town in the country. All these facts have one thing in common. They represent the Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. Beyond rankings, awards, and accolades, oh my, Indiana University has proven itself to be one of the best universities in the nation because of its rich history, beautiful campus life it offers in the present, and programs and resources it aids students to a prosperous and enjoyable future. In order to successfully highlight this establishment, we will go on a timeline through what IU has to offer and will continue to offer in its lifetime to come. In 1820, a legislative act on January 20th establishes a state seminary to be located in the town of Bloomington. The first professor that was hired to teach in the seminary was Baynard Rush Hall, and by 1824, the first enrollment to Indiana College, its title before Indiana University, was only 10 males. In 1938, the well-known Herman B. Wells was named the 11th president of Indiana University. Wells was an enormously generous person one who valued every member of the academic community, from a custodian to the most senior and distinguished professor. He treated each with respect, reaching out to them as only someone with his deep regard for others could do. Obviously, his passion to see everyone grow made an enormous impact on the well-being of IU. Thus, he received his own statue near the center of campus. In 1962, he became the university chancellor until he passed away in 2000. A plethora of people per year come to shake Wells's hand in hopes for good luck. A network of networks, also known as the internet, was created in 1983, and by 89, IU offered its first online class. The history of this university is so diverse and colorful, and its thousands of supporters will be celebrating 200 years in 2020. But until then, IU staff and students will cherish what IU currently has to offer. From the lively town of Bloomington, to the involved student section at the sporting events, to the beautiful grounds of the campus itself, the school will continue to maintain its legacy of being one of the top colleges in the nation. A Hoosier is not defined as an animal, a bird, or a mythical creature. A Hoosier is a proud member of the IU family. On the other hand, someone that is not proud to be a Hoosier is a Boilermaker. Indiana University's number one rival is its neighbor, Purdue, separated by just over 100 miles. This boiling competition grew its roots from the intriguing fast-paced sport of basketball when the series began in 1901. Over the years, IU has earned five NCAA championship titles. The Boilermakers have earned zero. No state is more synonymous with basketball than Indiana, so it's only fitting that one of the college game's best rivalries features Indiana University and Purdue. Even though the mascot of a Hoosier isn't an animal, there's plenty of four-legged friends at IU. Indiana is always looking for a way to help the students here have the best time they possibly can. Therefore, during the most stressful time of the year, finals, they brought dogs from the Indiana Canine Assistant Network into Hodge Hall for students to enjoy. This is just a simple stress reliever, yet it genuinely shows how much faculty members love to see their students prosper and grow. And it's pretty fun to watch the bonds between Labrador puppies and students also grow. Going back to Purdue, legend has it that IU's only brick-covered building on campus is because of a mix-up in the distribution of building materials with Purdue. The majority of Purdue's campus is constructed with brick, and IU is known for its limestone. But during construction of these two universities, the trucks distributing the materials switched paths. IU's limestone was sent to West Lafayette, and Purdue's brick was sent to Bloomington, where it was used to form Owen Hall and Wiley Hall. These buildings are located in the older region of campus, but the bustling nightlife in the downtown area is simply another reason why Indiana University is one of the best campuses in the country. B-Town is known as one of the top foodie cities in the nation. From its dozens of international restaurants or American restaurants with a gourmet curve, Bloomington is sure to propose all these options. Besides the food, Kirkwood Avenue is always full of intriguing nightlife. There's tons of shops, bars, and local businesses. Not only is IU considered to be one of the best college towns, the campus itself has a beautiful atmosphere. When the land IU was built on was donated by the Dunn family, they requested that for every one tree that is removed in the making of this campus, plant two more trees somewhere else. This has caused IU to flourish with green life. Not only is IU extremely green, it bleeds crimson and cream. Using its rich past and lovely present, students utilize the given resources to aid their future. 
Here at IU, Indiana covers over 550 standalone degrees and certificates. IU is known to be the 21st best business school in the country, according to U.S. News. Kelly allows students to refine their already established business skills and learn how to transition into strong leaders. Graduates from Kelly School of Business have a 94 job percent placement and excellent starting salaries compared to other top 10 schools. In a different industry, Jacobs School of Music is considered to be one of the best schools in the nation for vocal performance, music composition, percussion performance, orchestral conducting, and even music librarianship. The IU Jacobs School of Music is widely known for staging an incredible six operatic productions every single school year. Besides these programs themselves helping students succeed, the academic advisors aid students tremendously. How students benefit from the academics here at Indiana University? Well, any degree from Indiana University is reputable and respectable, and employees recognize that, so it will be very transferable to many industries and many careers. As an academic advisor, how do you help your students? Well, my role is to help students pick classes that not only help them to graduate, but help them to find something they're really interested in, so they're motivated to graduate and motivated to succeed. And we really value that here at Indiana University. But what makes this school so exceptional is not all the perks of being here. It is the type of people that come here and make it so special. What do you look for in incoming students? Well, we love to see people who are more well-rounded, not just in the academic sphere, such as uh, test scores and GPAs. We like to see people who are involved in other extracurricular activities, such as sports, theater, volunteer work. We like to see everyone come together as a whole rather than just academic focus. From the history of this blooming university to the present day IU, all the way to the future of its students, Indiana University will sustain its label as one of the best universities in the country.